kitchen. Here he is. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. There it is. And like I said, it's luck. You just got to keep trying. Maybe you'll get five in a row. Boom, 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 boom. And then you're the richest, wealthiest person in the world. Manny here back at it again with another video and another live stream actually there's no webcam on right now but if you do want to see the unedited version of this you can always check out the live stream uh, it's actually probably a good one because I'll be doing this technique all day long for you so you can see how it actually works in action unedited so if you want to check that out you can always go check out the live stream hit that notification bell to see when I go live or you can hit that join button below and become a member. All those things are wonderful things. Like, comment, subscribe. Those things are great too. Thank you guys for your love and support. Today is about this. What you're looking at right here, right? That's what it is. This right here. This. Yes. This. Me. Hi. How you guys doing? Um, this is, yes, armor, right? Um, interesting looking armor, right? It's different than what you're probably used to seeing a little bit because, uh, you know, it kind of looks like the duster armor from the outpost, but that's because it kind of is duster armor from the outpost. But it is legendary armor. It's very, very special armor, the first of its kind for Star Citizen. And uh, what makes it so legendary? What makes it so cool? Well, it's probably the best armor in the game. I mean, if we're talking stats wise, it's the best armor in the game. Um, it's heavy armor. And uh, we're going to show you how to get it. That's what today's video is about. We're going to show you how to get it. We're going to farm it. We're going to show you how it's done. And I've cracked the code. Okay. You might have seen other videos of people maybe making videos on this armor. I, I've seen one or two. And um, awesome stuff for people finding this armor and exploring and finding these little things. But I've cracked the code on how to get this armor. It's not easy still. Just because I cracked the code doesn't mean you're going to be swimming in armor. It just means I've cracked the code and I'll make it a little bit easier for you. So watch this video and I'll show you how to get this armor a little bit easier. This is just the intro. I'm going to do cuts and stuff. But yes, let's talk about the armor a little bit. What makes it so legendary, right? Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is legendary because it has 16... 16 slots for ammo 16 ammo slots on your belt are you gonna ever look in your amp in your backpack for ammo again no no siri no you're not how many grenade slots eight grenade slots are you ever gonna run out of grenades probably if your name is Kavinsky um, but eight grenade slots 16 ammo slots it's heavy armor it's the dust devil armor it's the legendary armor of the current star citizen it comes with a very special backpack too and that's that's that so let's show you guys how to get this armor right shall we let's go uh flying around and show you how to do it let's do it i'll see you guys on the road Okay, guys, we're back talking about the legendary armor, and um, there is, you don't need to be in the contracts tab to do this. I'm just going to show you a quick little trick in the context contracts tab on trying to find this armor. So <clears throat> I like to do this at Hurston because you have multiple choices at Hurston. You can also do this at Microtech. Um, so you have to go to the Dusk uh, Gang hideouts the dust gang outpost obviously because it's dusk armor right so that part's obvious but you have to go to those places right so there's some on microtech there is some on hurston but what the one specifically you need is the ones that have the armor guys and the armor guys are at the so-called strongholds if you want to call them that but it's basically the places that people go and buy rmc right so we're talking um makers point pickers field uh, Repel, Dunbarrow, those kinds of places, right? And let me show you a little trick, right? So not in your mercenary tab, but well, since we got our mercenary, mercenary tab up, let's go ahead and pick up Call to Arms while we're at it because that'll earn us a couple extra credits here and there, right? So make sure you grab Call to Arms. Why not? 
Okay, next we're going to go into the Bounty Hunter tab, okay? So the Bounty Hunter tab has some of these missions right here that say MRT Bounty Hunting. These are ground missions where they're asking you to go kill a certain guy on the ground. See, this guy is somebody who's at a Caterpillar site. What we're looking for is the ones that cost 9k and say MRT. This is not the one. You can see it says go to HDSF, so this is not the one. But there might be another one that's for 9k. It's currently not up, so maybe when it is up, I will pull it up and show you. But if you grab that specific mission that says 9k MRT in the Bounty Hunter list, it'll show you where the boss is for that location. And that's what we're looking for is the specific bosses at these locations. And so instead of running around checking every single enemy at these locations, you only have to check the boss spawn. So if you know where the boss spawn is, you only have to check one guy. And if you check that one guy and it's not the guy, then you kill him and you move on. So that's the trick. That's how you crack the code. Let's go talk about it when we go down into the actual area. And I'll talk about it and I'll show you the boss locations that I am aware of so it can help you get this armor better. Sound good? Let's go check it out. And we'll come back to the contracts page when we can. All right, guys, we are back and we're here at Cutter's Rig. This is my first... Oh, there goes a player who just went splash, splash, boom. <laughs> So, um, this is Cutter's Rig. This is at the Quantum Marker, at the Quantum Marker Weeping Cove, right there. That's where we got here from, from using the Quantum Marker Weeping Cove. So you could type that into the Moby Glass and go to Weeping Cove. <coughs> and then you come over to this location, right here, Cutter's Rig, which is fairly known by this time in the game if you haven't seen cutter's rig there's a bunch of videos on it i even have videos on cutter's rig it's just a little outpost it's pretty cool it's, it's, it's floating in the water you know little oil rig kind of area spot but anyways like i was telling you guys you only have to check one guy okay so i like to do this in my ship i don't even touch the ground i do this so fast and efficiently now i've been farming the shit out of this thing for quite some time now that I do this so fast and efficiently, okay? So I don't even land. Like, you could land and go explore the whole place, right? You could go land in the landing pad and go explore the whole place if you want and check every single body. But the only body, the only person you have to check is the guy right here to the right of the entrance. You see, there's the entrance, that, that like, little area over there. That's the entrance, right? You don't even have to... You, he's right here. This is the guy, okay? This obviously is not the correct guy. He's not wearing the armor. But this is the boss of the area. This is the boss location for Cutter's Rig. So if you come to this guy and it's not the armor you're looking for, then that's it. You're done. You're done. You kill him and you move on. You move on. It's not here at Cutter's Rig, ladies and gentlemen. Time to move on. That's one boss location. If it's not there, like I said, you move on. Next, we'll go ahead and go to Maker's Point or Repel or Pickersfield. Whichever one you're feeling like it's time for. But uh, I'll see you when we get there. All right. So let's do it. Quickly, guys, I just uh, I was checking my contracts and I promised to show you guys when I found the contract. So here it is. See, it's a 9K under bounty hunter 9k out of under bounty hunter mrt 9k it says go kill somebody at pickersfield this is a boss at pickersfield homes we're going to pickersfield and we're going to kill him okay this will give you the location of the boss spawn so if you see this mission and you don't know where the boss spawn is and my description in the video today wasn't good enough for you then if you pick up this mission, you can find the boss by picking up this mission. So I'll see you guys at Picker's Field. Let's get a going. Okay, guys, here we are pulling in. And of course, there's another player here. He's in a Reclaimer. I'm not worried about a Reclaimer player. If 
Reclaimer wants to shoot down a Pisces. That's uh, his own doing. Cool with me. Um, there's also a C2 Hercules. Again, if there's a C2 Hercules and they want to shoot down a Pisces, I mean, I don't know what they're going to get out of it. I'm not too worried about other players. I'm in a Pisces. What do they have to gain from killing a Pisces? Style points? No, you get asshole points for killing Pisces. But that's fine. No matter to me. So, again, as I was telling you, this target location is going to give you the location of the boss. I will zoom in on the boss so you can see what the boss looks like as well. Um, I just do this in my ship, like I said, because there's no need to keep going. So, if you don't know where the boss is, taking this mission will help you find him. And see, there you go. The boss for Picker's Field is always in this location here, okay? So in between this brick wall and this house right here, the boss is always walking around, usually standing right here. He's usually standing right here, okay? And right away, I could already tell you this is not the correct guy, right? Because you can see that he's wearing the black hood, okay? This is unique special armor, guys. This is unique special armor. He is wearing unique special armor, but that's not the guy, right? That's not the one we're looking for. So you could take his armor. It is unique. It's actually not armor. It's clothes. Remember, this is these are clothes, not actual armor. So this doesn't work in space. It doesn't have thrusters, and you also die in space because it's not an actual helmet. But that's the boss. This is his spawn location for Picker's Field. Okay. It's not the correct boss. So we kill him. We get our mission complete. And we move on. It's as simple as that. Again. This is legendary armor. Okay, guys. Like, the name says legendary armor. Just because I'm showing you the location exactly where the boss spawns and where to go do it does not mean you're going to get this armor. It is legendary. It is rare. I spent hours doing this and still only have one set. Okay, mind you, I've found three sets, but I've lost two sets. <laughs> one of the sets glitched into the abyss and it just disappeared. Another set glitched and I wasn't able to pick it up. And then the third set is back at Everest Harbor in my inventory right now, right? So it is rare. You're not going to find this. You might get really, like, if you find this, you're really lucky. And congratulations. So from, we've already checked Cutter's Rig. We've now done Picker's Field. Let's go to Repel now, and I'll show you where the spot is in Repel, okay? So I'll see you guys when we get there. Oh, this is a way to do it, right? Just so you guys know, if you guys don't know, you could just type in the thing. Repel. Put a route. There you go. Be careful going to these places. It's hot spots. Hot spots. Watch out for the pirates. Watch out for the other players. And make friends. Have fun. See you there. So we're pulling in to Hurst or we're per, pulling into Repel now. For our next stop on the boss farm, okay? And um Repel, just a little warning, Repel is the hardest place to find the boss in because it is kind of, uh, well, it's not that it's big, it's that the boss likes to roam at Repel. The boss walks around at Repel. So sometimes he's not in the same location every time. But uh, I'll give you my best tips and tricks, right? So I would say this is like the entryway of Repel. Or no, no, I probably... Where's the like doorway? Isn't there like an awning? No, I don't know. I don't know. But this is what I would say facing repel is. Maybe it's over there. Maybe the entry's over there. Okay, yeah, see there's the awning thing. Okay, so there's the awning thing, the entry of repel. Usually the bosses are kind of like right at the front. Um, I usually find them to the left over here roaming around. Uh, like I said, this is the hardest one to find the boss at. And Repel seems to be kind of deserted at the moment. Sometimes 
especially at repel they don't pop in you see that how, you see how they just popped in now that sent that seems to happen a lot at repel so i repel is the only place i have not found the the boss armor yet i found the boss armor at all the other locations so far but i haven't found it at repel so again i don't have a specific there's the boss on repel but usually he hangs out around here but he walks around is the problem you see like i don't see him right now because he's probably out walking around we can do a quick ground search and like i said i'll try to point point out what the boss looks like right seems like people have been here you see what i mean it's very dangerous definitely very dangerous but uh i don't see him right now i do have people say that he's like he likes to hang out inside the scrap area right so we'll do a quick walk around while we're recording for the for the video and again, if we get shot, it's no big deal. Because we're wearing absolutely nothing. The, these locations are friendly until you shoot at them, by the way. So the, the AI here will not fire at you until you fire at them. Okay, This is where you buy RMC, by the way. We're in a Pisces. We're not buying RMC. Okay, so let's do a quick roam around. Usually, like I said, the boss walks around this area right here. Likes to hang out with these guys. I think the spawn location for the boss is like legit right here. Like he legit spawns here and then walks around. But uh, I don't even see him. And that sometimes can be the case. Especially at Repel. Because Repel, like I said, is the only place I haven't seen the actual armor spawn in so we'll go run around real quick and see if we can find him I don't think he would be all the way out here um, one of my buddies said that he could have sworn the boss spawned in the back right corner which is where we're at I, I don't see anything over here and yeah Okay, well, if I find the boss spawn for you guys later on, I'll, I'll record it for you. Um, but there's a player there. You see that? There's a player. So the boss is probably dead in this location. There's also a player shooting at that Connie. Like, what a fucking griefer. But okay. <laughs> Don't matter to me. But again, if I die here, no big deal. We'll keep the recording going. We'll keep the recording going because, uh, you know, whatever. That that C2 can definitely, like, just pop us in two seconds. That's up to him if he decides to do that. But, uh, don't matter to me. And we're out. He's not going to catch us. There's nothing to worry about. He's not going to catch us. Again, we're in a Pisces. It doesn't matter. So I'll see you guys at the next location, which will be the only place we haven't gone to now, which is Maker's Point. So I'll see you guys at Maker's Point. Are you seriously still locking on me, buddy? Okay, guys, we're back, and we're showing our final location that I'm showcasing in this video. This is Maker's Point, and I'll show you the boss location here at Maker's Point, okay? After this, I would have shown you all four boss locations in the four outposts I recommend you to farm them at, because you can just jump from one point to the next point. And, um, yeah, so we probably won't find the boss in this 
first little couple of four spots that we're going to look, but we're going to keep looking and I'll hit the record button when I do find it to show you that that's the location that he spawns in to show you the proof. Okay. So here we are pulling up and this is what I would call the front entrance to Maker's Point. And again, the boss for this location spawns basically at the front location. So this is where the boss would spawn, basically where I'm pointing my light. You see these four guys over here? Those are his homies. The boss usually spawns right here. And he walks around a little bit here and there. Um, did we get locked on by the guys or did we get locked on by another ship? Like, can I help you? Okay. If we die again, we're in a Pisces and we're wearing nothing. I don't care. So the boss usually spawns and sits right here, right where that gun is. As you can see, somebody's probably been here and killed the boss. He sometimes walks to this fence. Sometimes he does a loop around here. But usually he's chilling right there. Okay. He's not. Let's see by using the Pisces if we could find him. For a quick second, maybe we'll hop out and see if we can find him. But I don't see him, so he's not... It doesn't look like he's spawned in at the moment. He looks like someone has been here and killed him. Alright, so like, here's another group of guys. This is obviously not the boss. Again, something I've told people in the live stream is you can tell it's the boss because they have two weapons, okay? The bosses have two weapons, while the non-bosses only have one weapon. So this is a this is a regular guy. He only has one weapon. It doesn't seem like the boss is here currently. So no good. Um, one thing I like to do just for a, a safe safe mindset is I do like to kill some enemies while I'm here, just to start the respawning thing. So like so. I don't know if this helps at all. It probably doesn't, but I'm going to kill this group of guys here so that more enemies spawn. And when I come back around, maybe the boss will spawn, but that, that probably doesn't affect it at all because that one boss spawn is one guy and that's all it is. But uh, it's kind of just like a placebo safekeeping effect. We'll real quick do a fly by and we'll re-record maker's point to show off the boss location again um, when we find him but for now that's the video I'll show you and when we find one when we strike gold as I was telling you guys earlier this is legendary armor it is rare to find this it is not easy it takes dedication if you want the armor, put in the work. Do the dedication. I'll see you guys when we find it. All right, guys, I'm back. I just wanted to real quick show the actual spawn location at um, at Maker's Point. Remember, I was talking about where the, the guy spawns, but he wasn't there when I was showing the video part. Um, so I do want to real quick give you guys the proof of where he spawns in at which is right here. I can see him right there, that right there. Again, if it's not the right boss, you kill him and you move on. But this is where he spawns in. He sometimes walks to the fence over there, but that's where he spawns in. It's not the correct guy. No winner, winner, chicken dinner here. We keep moving on. And until the next time, we kill them all. All right. That's that. I joined on you, so maybe. I'm you get the hell out of my server, freak! No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not, I, I'm, I'm actually not looking. My goal is to, to grind my uh, hersen rep. I'm just doing uh, yeah. mercenary missions. What up, guys? Maybe We're back. We got a winner, winner, chicken dinner here at Cutter's Rig. I don't have a mission active. Like I said, you do not need a mission active. They are always in the same location. Here he is. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. There it is. And like I said, it's luck. 
You just got to keep trying. Maybe you'll get five in a row. Boom, 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 boom. And then you're the richest, wealthiest person in the world. And lucky as hell. But we just grinded for a whole hour. And we, this is our first one on the live stream. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Just do a knockout there. Come, come to him and, uh, you know, just loot his body. However you want to do it. However you want to do it. You know, hit the loot button, do regular loot, open inventory, whatever your choice is, doesn't matter. Make sure you have a undersuit on because he does not supply an undersuit. He does not supply an undersuit, guys, so make sure you have an undersuit. And you have to drag it onto you if you do it from this menu. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. There it is. Apparently it was a female. Um... Winner, winner, chicken dinner. There it is, guys. We showed it. We grinded it. Let's go get some more. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. <laughs> there it is. So, for the sake of the YouTube video... I hope you guys enjoyed this little guide. Make sure you smash that like button, leave a comment down below, and subscribe. We're going to continue farming this on the live stream. But thanks for clicking that notification bell and that join button down below. If you have any other questions, you can always join the Discord down below in the description. Leave comments, whatever you need to do. Thank you guys. And back to the live stream. <laughs>